Hi, this is Derek with Money Hoy, and today we're going to go over how you can make your own money saving Pareto chart to help you save on your finances. Uh, you can see I've got Excel open here. Uh, you can also follow along in um, Google Sheets if you'd like, but uh, this is just a simple example. I put together some expenses. These are actually real expenses from uh, several years ago that we used to pay. So you can see they're just listed here in alphabetical order. And uh, I've got six months worth here. So you can see, we'll just call this, let's just pretend this is January, February, whoops, February. And let's see if Excel is smart enough to fill in the rest here. Yes, okay. So let's say uh, you've got your expenses and you wanna try and look at some ways you can save. Uh, one of my favorite ways, and you'll see it's linked in the comment section below uh, in a whole article on how to do this, but you're just gonna wanna take the average of the past six months. Uh, you don't even need six months. You can do uh, three or four months if that's all you have tracked so far. But uh, it's really easy. You're just gonna come into the cell here, say equals average, and then just click and hold down and select the six cells there, put an end parenthesis, press enter. And that's the average. So on average, I spent $51.48 on car insurance. So now uh, you can click this little tiny box here and just click and drag this down. And that's going to run the same average calculation for, for each block of six cells for each category. So now we've got our average here. I'm just going to color this a uh, slightly different color uh, for you guys to be able to see. So now, let's see. We want to sort this with the highest expenses being first and the smallest expenses being last. So there's a couple different ways to do that. I'll just show you the easiest way. Um, We'll pick everything. I've got headers here. I, I went to the trouble of making that, so uh, I'll show you how to do that. So now you're going to click on Edit. I'm sorry, Data, and then Sort. And you're going to click this checkbox, checkbox here. My dad has headers. And we want to do Average and Largest to Smallest. So there you go. You can see my biggest Monthly expense is child care, followed by groceries, home interest, gas, and so on and so forth. So now that's all fine and great, but um, it's a little difficult to visualize uh, the comparisons between all of these different categories if you're just looking at the numbers. So that's where the Pareto chart comes in. So you're going to click on uh, Insert Chart here. We're going to do a 2D column chart. And then it just grabs random data, uh, what it thinks you want. It's not far off, but I don't really care about each of the months. So I'm going to come in here to select data. And I'm just going to show you how to do this from scratch here. Um, you're going to click Add. Series Name is going to be your different expense categories here. So I'll just click and drag and select all of those. Press Enter. And your series values are going to be your average. Oh, this thing's kind of in the way. Your average values here. We want it to. Uh, let's see. Let's. Uh, it's not going to let us move that, will it? Checks. Okay. Um, and I'm sorry. I made a mistake here. You're not really going to have series name. You're going to have the horizontal category is what you want to add. So you're going to click edit click and drag and select all of these. And that gives you your simple breakdown. So if you click OK, uh, we've got our chart here. So these are our monthly expenses. And you can see by far, like if I add together these top three, they're bigger than everything else combined. So while certainly you can come down here and try and save a little money on water or internet, uh, that's helpful. That's helpful, but if you can't really focus on making some long-term plans to change these, you're not really going to get into some very big savings. So that's what we did. 
uh, we, we basically planned out a multi-year plan where uh, my wife could actually go part-time. And we actually save more money by eliminating childcare and her working part-time than uh, if she worked full-time. So you can see this is about $1,200 on average a month. And uh, if you you know look at that for a whole year, you're talking, I don't know what that is, $15,000 or more. So it, it's a lot of money. And uh, that's after tax. So uh, you've got to make quite a bit of money to just even pay for child care. And you can see groceries was another big one. Uh, we're a family of four and we spend almost $800 a month on groceries. Uh, we had plans to get that down even lower. Uh, we weren't quite so successful there yet, or we haven't been yet, but we're still working on it. And the next one was home interest. You can say you can see we are paying or we were paying a ridiculous amount for home interest because we were living in a home that was really much bigger than what we needed. So we, we came up with some long term plans to downsize our house, which we've uh, done. And as a result, now I think we're paying. Oh, gosh, uh, less than two hundred dollars in home interest. So we're saving about six hundred dollars a year just in home interest. So hopefully you found that educational. That shows you uh, real quick how you can kind of just throw together your own Pareto chart based on your past six months expenses and uh, hopefully come up with some quick hit ideas, you know, down here that are going to save you some. But also you, you look at some long-term plans to really attack some of these very high expenses that you have. Uh, this is Derek with Money Hoy. As I said, I linked in the comment section below an entire article that explains how to do this uh, in writing and also gives you a couple more tips and tricks. You can check that out at moneyhoy.com. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing and pre please like the video below. Thanks.